In this lecture snippet, I want to discuss Little Endian format, and the reason for that is because if we use a tool like a hex editor to open up a partition from Microsoft Windows's computer, like an NTFS partition, and view some of the data that's in there, like the MFT data, the master file table data, and actually try to make sense of the values that we see, we're going to find out that converting the hexadecimal values over to decimal are going to be all messed up and basically not make sense. And the reason for that is because they're written in Little Endian format. And I'm going to explain how that is. I'm going to build up to that. A couple of the basics first with the hex editor, just to make sure you understand some of these basics with the hex editor. A hex editor will actually take the ones and zeros that are written on the disk, or all that binary data that's on the disk, and actually convert it over to hexadecimal numbers. And what it does is it takes eight of them, or eight, eight of these ones and zeros, or eight bits, which is the same as a byte. It will take that whole byte worth of data and convert it over to a hexadecimal number using two digits. And you'll see here like D3. And D3, if we were to convert that over to a binary number, would be what we see here. So basically that's how they convert it, and they put them in sets of two. Now I want to also point out when we're using a hex editor, we don't see it prefixed with a 0x. However, if we see these numbers written down, we usually prefix it with a 0x for a hexadecimal value. And that's so that we don't confuse like something like hexadecimal 30 as being the decimal value of 30. We don't want to confuse those two. So anytime it's written down, we usually do this 0x in front of it as a prefix. All right, so let's get to this little Indian format. If you look here, it says it reads the sets of these hexadecimal numbers. So every one of these sets, it'll read them right to left. And what I mean by that is this. If you see here, I've got two different sets. I've got 0, 3, and 0, 4. If we wanted to convert this over to a hexadecimal value that we can could later on convert to a decimal value, we would have to take the right set of numbers and make them go to the left. So we're actually going to take those first, 0, 4, and then we're going to take 0, 3 and place it over there. So 0, 3, 0, 4, if that's in little endian format, it's really going to be our hexadecimal number 0, 4, 0, 3. So we just read them right to left as a set. And I also want to point out that you can drop the leading zeros. Like, for instance, if this was the hexadecimal number 0, 4, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 3, we can actually drop that leading zero right there before the 4. So we can actually write it 4, 0, 3. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these examples that we have to work with. First example in little Indian format. I have 0, 0, 0, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0. There are a lot of zeros there and there's one 4. How do we interpret this into a hexadecimal number that I can work with? Well, what I need to do is I need to take the sets from right to left. So I'm going to take this first set here at the very end, the right set, and put that in the front. And then I'm going to keep working all my way down until I get to the very end. And I'm going to have 0, 0, 0, 0, then I'm going to have this 0, 4, which is right here, and then the last set is going to be the 0, 0. And I can drop all those leading zeros and just have the hexadecimal value of 4, 0, 0. And then I could convert that over to a decimal value of 1024. Let's go ahead and look at example number 2. Example number 2, 6, 0, 0, 0. If that is in little Indian format, then what I'm going to do is take the, from the right, the set that's all the way to the right, and put that in the front, and then I'm going to keep working my way to the left. So 6, 0 is going to come here next. So in hexadecimal format, it's actually going to be hexadecimal just 6, 0. Hexadecimal 6, 0. And if I were to convert that number over to a decimal format, that would be 96 in our decimal numbering system. All right, last example, example number 3. Uh, D304. If that was in little Indian format, if those were how the hexadecimal digits read, then I want to convert that over using 04D3 from right to left. And then I'll get the hexadecimal number 04D3 or just 4D3 after I drop that leading zero. And then I could convert that over to decimal to find that the value was 1,235 in the decimal numbering system. So this is just a basic overview of how to read in little Indian format and be able to convert then over to a decimal or hexadecimal value.